Hi and welcome to a video update from the Fire Brigade Union. We're here at the Union's head office and we're discussing a report into the death of firefighter and FBU member Ewan Williamson, a Scottish firefighter who died in Edinburgh in 2009. We're joined by the Scottish Executive Council member for the Union, Chris McGlone. Now Chris, a report has just come out and you're on record as saying that Ewan's death was avoidable and unacceptable. Why do you say that? Well, the first thing I would like to say is obviously it was a, a tragic event. Uh, a firefighter in line of duty lost his life. Uh, it was avoidable uh, because we clearly have identified uh, lessons. Things went wrong. Uh, and those lessons have now been uh, underpinned by key recommendations. And it was unacceptable because I don't think it's acceptable for, for any fire brigade uh, union to simply accept uh, the risk of loss of life as an occupational hazard of doing your job. Now, Chris, we've got the report that's come out from the Scottish Fire and Rescue Service. You're quoted throughout uh, the report. What are the main lessons that have been identified and what are you, as a union in Scotland, going to do to make sure that they learn? There are a number of key lessons uh, identified in the report. I think the, the important thing is making sure that those uh, that lessons are learnt from those identified. Now, in order to do that, we've identified key underpinning recommendations. There are 19 recommendations in total. Most of them relate to operational elements of the incident. Uh, the primary ones relate to breathing apparatus procedures and policies, uh, incident command uh, overall procedures and policies, and tactical ventilation. Now, to underpin the report and the recommendations, a safer firefighter uh, project has been established. Uh, to ensure that the recommendations are fully embedded across the organisation, uh, within the culture of the organisation, the policies, procedures and processes. And we all have a key role as the Fire Brigade Union within that project. Right? So the Fire Brigade Union is actually going to be a part of this project yes. to drive it through? Absolutely. Well, Matt, we've gone through the report. I mean, this could have happened anywhere in the UK, it seems to like many firefighters. What is the union going to do um, throughout the UK to make sure this isn't just a Scottish-only issue? Yeah, Tam, I think one of the uh, the worrying things about this report and some of the other ones we've uh, dealt with is that actually common themes come up in a lot of our uh, investigations in these circumstances. So we talk about learning lessons and I think the worry that we have is whether lessons really are being learnt when several years later you, you see another incident where exactly the same issues are identified. So I think uh, there's an obligation on all of us uh, in Scotland and across the UK, across the Union, to make sure that we actually uh, these uh, these issues identified in this particular report relating to, to Ewan Williamson are not just applied in the Scottish Fire and Rescue Service but applied ac across the profession, across the service as a whole. Is this something the union is going to be taking up on a national level? Are we going to be approaching the English government with this in the same way that Chris seems to do that? Yeah, I think that is one of the uh, the difficulties we always have in these cases. So we, we have had previous cases where, for example, coroners have made recommendations. And one of the issues we've identified is how do you ensure that a coroner in, in one particular English uh, fire service, for example, that those recommendations are, ident are dealt with across the whole of the UK. So that is a clear issue we've got to uh, address. Yeah, Mark, just uh, one last word. As General Secretary, you'll have seen the media reports. Uh, Ewan's family pretty scathing of the Fire and Rescue Service, but they've got a different point of view in regards to the FBU. Uh, a word on that. Yeah, I, and, and it was very uh, powerful comments, I think, from Ewan's uh, mum uh, in, in the media. Uh, I suppose for me, the, the things to comment on are, first of all, the amount of effort that the Union uh, officials in Scotland put in uh, to this uh, particular investigation. As I say, a huge amount of time, and it takes a lot. You can't do this overnight. It takes a long, long uh, time. But also, they were supported nationally by other health and safety specialists within the union and by head office. Uh, and I'm glad to see that we we did do what we was expected of us in those circumstances, albeit in in very, very terrible circumstances, uh, as Ewan's mother has uh, explained. Oh, thanks. Well, the Scottish Fire and Rescue Service report, and indeed the union's own report is all going to be published on our website that's www.fbu.org.uk so please go there and go through them in some depth thanks till next time matt chris thank you thanks thank sir. you